Well, I think the people that are, are taking the roids understand the, the risks that yep. are involved. Mm -hmm. Sure. You're going to pump up. It's none of our business. <laughs> it really isn't. No. I don't care. They're not like doing I said, it. as long as it's entertaining to me. They're not doing it in front of the kids. Yeah. If they're doing it at all. Yeah, a role model. Do they, do they uh, juice up in the ring? I don't think so. What they do behind closed doors is their own business. I don't know. As long as they're not... I don't care what they do. ...hurting each other or Role others. model. <laughs> Role model or not. These athletes should be able to do whatever kind of drug they want. Talking about wrestling. Not a man. <laughs> you, never see, you never hear those breaks over there. No. <laughs> and I guess we're still allowed to make uh, fun of Mike and the Mad Dog because they have a sense of humor. Yeah, talk about the roller derby. <laughs> they have a sense of humor. What? Not if you ask Mike. Some people in the company <laughs> don't have a sense of humor and uh, don't want to be made fun of. That's all I'm trying to say. I know. So I'm like Mike time. and the Mad Dog. They're they're cool. They never you know cried to anyone about Mad us dog. making fun of them. I'm cool too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. No. No comment. Maybe I just don't know you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby. Someone's gonna punch him in the side of the head in the morning, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He doesn't look... Ah, uh, shut up, Bernard. He doesn't look awake in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 5.41. Oh, I said that. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. Where's a Billy Saul Hargis bit? Can I rerun uh, one of those from uh, you know, 1978 or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. NBC. You want to order a thousand, a thousand hamburgers? A thousand hamburgers bit. Nah, that was funny. Oh, what's it? <laughs> How'd it go? I forgot. I got that CD so long. <laughs> That's like the worst prank call I've ever heard. How's my uh my big fag cowboy hat today? I don't think I got the that CD with us today. If you find it, that'll be a great find. Is it looking good, my big fag cowboy hat, baby? <laughs> and my uh, bandana I wear around my neck. I'm like a big fag cowboy, baby. <laughs> Hides the uh the uh chicken skin on my neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now shut up, McCord, jerk. <laughs> you see that um, uh, 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 Janet Reno? Yeah, everyone. that whole uh, damn uh, Ilium Gonzalez thing. Yeah, yeah everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone talking about that, baby. Thing. You must have some great. Ah, oh, they're all just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean, they barge in uh, with the uh, uh, the uh, the um the the guns. The guns, right? <laughs> You know, uh, my uh, brother sells uh, salsa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby salsa. <laughs> On WNBC. Wait, where am I? Uh, the fan, now, I believe. The fag? The, the fan. The fan. The fan, yeah. I'm us in the morning program. Is that all you have on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Leon Gonzalez? He's, um, he's, he's uh, the father. He's the father. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and. And, uh. And, uh, I think he's a kid toucher. <laughs> <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Billy Saul Hargis. Now watch out, Elian. Moby Worm coming to get you. <laughs> I see him right now. He's coming down uh, to Miami. Uh -huh. We got him on our radar right now, and I'm seeing uh, Moby Worm, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't care if it rains or freezes as long as I got my plastic Jesus riding on the dashboard of my car. 5.43 in the afternoon, why am I on? <laughs> oh, very nice. Uh, what about the um, Ilion's, uh, Ilion's that, uh, that, uh, uh, cousin? The cousin, the hot cousin? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. And? Oh, shut up, Bernard. <laughs> what a slut. <laughs> not her, Bernard. You think she takes it in the balloon knot? Uh, I'd like to uh, think that. Yeah. I just hope uh, hope she shaves so it's as bald as Bernard's head. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, Bernard. You too, McCord. <laughs> Am I shift done yet? Uh, no, not yet. Mm. I see the uh, CNBC cameras on me. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look my best. Yeah. So I, uh, I take a thread yeah. and sew the back of my neck together <laughs> to try to pull the uh, skin up. I see that. <laughs> it ain't working, baby. No. Uh... I got Moby Worm under my chin. 
<laughs> Where's that cousin? Sit on my face and practice Spanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baby, Moby Worm, in my pants. <laughs> Where's my young wife? What about uh, that uh, uh, Fidel uh, Ca uh, Castro? Who? Fidel Castro. Yeah, what's up with him? With what? that um that uh beard. Uh, what what about, uh, what just, about it? it looks stupid. <laughs> yeah. What a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> Is it five forty six yet? <laughs> no, <not> yet. <laughs> Time check. All right, five forty five and thirty eight seconds. <laughs> Need material, baby. In the uh news? Yeah. Nick's had a great uh win last night. Oh, well. Yesterday afternoon, whatever. Rudy's Rudy's wife is doing the vagina monologue. Vagina monologue, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, You know, uh, with Rudy uh, in the um, Senate race, right? Uh, fighting for that minute. <laughs> vagina Chronicles or the monologue, baby. But but yeah, the monologues. Monologue. Vagina monologues. Yeah. You got that uh, Hargis bit uh, queued up? <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I got my fag cowboy hat yeah, on. Yeah, I mentioned yeah. that. Yeah, you did right. Yeah. Yes. Hey, that Janet Reno's a man. Uh, hey, look, I I got out a full idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up with that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up, McCord. <laughs> hey, uh, Reno's face looks like uh, Bernard's ass. <laughs> hey, another idea, baby. Look at that. A complete sentence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quack, quack. Still five. Quack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, kids, that was a parody. That was a parody. Mm, doesn't mean we we hate the company or that station. Or hate the man himself. Oh, damn it, boys, ain't no harm. <laughs> if you want to be syndicated like Mr. Honest, you, you can't be talking to him, Mr. Honest. <laughs> See, uh, Mr. Honest uses character. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby, mobile work. Coming right down 57th over to 7th. Gonna grab up Obi and Anthony. Moby Worm coming to get you, baby. <laughs> it's a uh, fat Bernard looks over there, covering up his bald head. Shut up. Shut up, Bernard. Jerk. <laughs> Where's the uh, CNBC camera? Right there. Oh, thank you. Uh, can maybe Spielberg do some tricks and make me look good? <laughs> God damn, I look like I'm melting. <laughs> Five forty. Uh, Mike, what's up? Hey, what's up? How are you? Good. Looks like you guys got another month added on to your uh, syndication. <laughs> add on another month. I don't know when the hell it's gonna be, but it is another month. <laughs> you right, boys will never learn. Another click and uh, another check in the stupid column. <laughs> Stop that! You're so stupid! <laughs> we, we assume we can make fun of the people that have a sense of humor, right? Yeah. <laughs> a what? A sense of humor, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll look that up. Okay. <laughs> Baby! Thousand Hamburger. <laughs> Moby Worm. Reverend Billy Saul Hargis. On five, four. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention my brother's salsa? Uh, yes, you, you pretty much mentioned everything today. I'm thinking of a Marvag cowboy hat <laughs> where uh, you dip chips that are shaped like my big fag bandana yeah. in the big fag cowboy hat and pull out my brother's salsa, baby. Oh, I'm going to move to the ranch out there and... Uh, where the hell is he? We are. Arizona, New Mexico. Oh, shut up. We we are being dumped out of left and right. 
We are? Are we off the air yet? What, you can't mention that? We are, where's the Van Halen song? Aw, <laughs> oh, come on. You can't talk about Mr. Hammond? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that should be allowed. It's fun. Very. Yeah. Wow, what do they dump out of? Huh. Oh, that's can't say I miss. I miss my train. <laughs> yeah, we'll just keep going. Delay will run out. <laughs> I miss, I miss, I miss. <laughs> morning, morning, morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh uh, well. Can't do anything anymore. Just trying to have fun. Wow. They're really dumping out like crazy? That's what everyone's saying. I thought we were able to uh talk about that. When you say the time they are dumping out. I'm as in the morning program. I'm as in the morning program. I'm as in the morning program. I'm waiting for the Van Halen to kick in. <laughs> I'm us in the morning program. I'm us in the morning. Opie and Anthony. Fun to you going. You guys are really funny and stuff, but you guys take it too far to the point where I literally get nauseous and sick listening to your radio show. Go take a mite all. <laughs> W N E W. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. What? What? I thought we were all just having fun, right? What happened? All right. We will uh, let you in on what we just had to listen to for the last ten minutes. Okay. This is a reenactment. I thought we were clear on what we weren't going to be doing on this program. <laughs> How much more clear do we have to be? You, you boys can't be doing that. I've said it a thousand times. Look, we think you're very talented. You're going to go far in this company. You're doing very well for the station and for the company. But goddamn, we will throw you out faster than crap for a goose <laughs> if, if you don't knock this off. Why are you too stupid? You are stupid. Stupid. <laughs> We make policy for reasons around here. Not to be broken by the likes of you so so we can play Van Halen more than Q104. <laughs> <laughs> what well, I got to explain to everyone, uh, when they run out of uh, dump, dump time, when we're being bad, they, they turn off the station and they go to the Ain't Talking About Love song. How the hell do you run out of dump time when you're on a dump as long as you? <laughs> Unless you're blatantly breaking faith and policy. <laughs> Allow me to reiterate. From Ken Stevens. Effective immediately on making space and policy. No one discusses any other infinity station or air personality in any way. Not even as a comedy little bit that you do on your program. If you have a problem, see me. Ken Stevens. Not me, because I'm the other guy down in Washington. I just punch up on the telephone every time and, and get nauseated <laughs> with your blatant disrespect to state and policy. Holy Jesus, Palomino. I go down the hall, I'm like, well, what's, the, what's the problem? I just get a memo in my face. <laughs> Not a word, just a memo. Comes flying at me. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the sexual harassment video. Hey, boy, look. I heard you watched the sexual harassment video that our company put together. Yeah. yeah. At great cost and effort. Yeah. To teach everyone who works for this company about sexual harassment and how to avoid it in the workplace. And I hear you boys just laughing at it. Ha ha, laugh, laugh, laugh your ass off. You'll be laughing out the door all the way to the unemployment line. On that, we, we had station employees acting the roles, and you were making fun of bad acting? <laughs> Did you happen to see who was playing the guy behind the computer whacking it to the porno? <laughs> that was me! I thought I'd get an Emmy Award winning appearance! <laughs> you might break every rule! <laughs> And make fun of the goddamn sexual harassment video. <laughs> Do 
didn't you see when I pulled that girl's head into my lap? <laughs> that was sexual harassment. <laughs> I was doing that purely uh, uh, for the for, for the videotape to teach you, and you mocked it. Now look, you boys are very talented. We like you. We wouldn't have uh, uh, taken you aboard this company if we didn't think you could go very far. But you got to tell the line. <laughs> You both don't understand the rules. We will throw you out. Wait, my other phone's ringing. Hold on. Hello? No, I don't know what the hell I do here. <laughs> okay. Hello, boys. Hi. Fly straight. I don't understand you, boy. Straight and narrow, and you'll go far. You've been with this company a long time, like Dan Rather. If I hear ain't talking about love one more time, I swear to God you're out the door. Huh? Okay. All right, boys. Wait, wait. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, I didn't say anything. Are you nuts? I didn't say anything. It's just my deep voice guy. <clears throat> it's the Ivan in the Afternoon program. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why? Why? <laughs> I, I, you ever heard Ivan in the Afternoons? No, I it's a funny show. I haven't heard Ivan in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a brother Phil in Montana. He makes dip. <laughs> he wears a derby. <laughs> and a bolo tie. I see. That's great. I've heard of Spike and the Angry Wolf. <laughs> they do a good uh, afternoon drive show. <laughs> yeah. What we have here is a festive today. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm waiting to hear that from the guy. <laughs> What we've got here is failure to communicate. Now, you boys want a long career with our organization. Just like, look at that, look how long Danny Rather's been with us. Look how long he's been on there. He's been dead ten years. He's still working for the company. But we like him. And then we fire anybody else. And we want you boys to die here, too. Sooner than later, for the love of God. I should have known when we hired him after freaking killing the mayor of Boston, this was going to be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> they flew down to Washington, met me. I thought everything was cool. They pulled a wool over my eyes and bamboozled me like Satan. <laughs> 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 you can't make a deal with the devil. You never win. It sounds good. You think you have all your bases covered, but before you know it, you got a pitchfork in your ass. <laughs> That was two years ago. Yeah, it was. A little plane trip to Washington. Hey, you boys look okay. Go back to New York. Good luck. God damn, I could bite my goddamn tongue off for saying that. Two years ago, we had to fly down to Washington to meet the guy behind the voice. Yeah. And he wanted to just make sure we didn't have horns in our head, and then uh, he sent us on our way. Remember that day? Yes, sir. We do regret what we did in Boston. It was a simple little joke gone awry. We will never do anything like that again. It totally got out of hand. <laughs> we blame uh, we blame it mostly on management who didn't intervene at an earlier date and could have maybe saved the whole thing. We are but entertainers <laughs> who would love to entertain for your company, sir. All right, you look okay. Go to NW, have fun. <laughs> Fast forward one month. God damn, boys! <laughs> don't give me a heart attack! <laughs> that was the best though oh. before NEW was allowed to hire us we had to fly down to, to meet the guy behind the voice Yeah, we flew from Boston to Washington we took a 45 minute cab ride to his office we met with him for a total of five minutes. Five minutes. He made sure we didn't have horns in our head. We were, like, dressed in suits. Dressed in suits. I assumed I'm going to be in Washington for the night, have dinner, drinks and stuff. We were in his office for five, five to seven minutes. minutes. He goes, okay. All right, wait outside for your cab. Right. He goes, okay, I'm satisfied. I'll, I'll, I'll let them uh, 
hire you. And goes, can I, can I uh, call you a cab? Yeah. And then we had to take the 45-minute uh, cab ride back to the airport. <laughs> and we were in Boston for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most bizarre day of my life. I should have killed you when I had the chance. <laughs> man. You were right in front of me, right before me. Measle bulb, right there, right in front of my eyes, and I didn't see it. Cain and Abel. <laughs> I should have killed his bulb. Uh, this is coming in. Anthony, you have bigger balls than generous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Uh, well, all right. You got to be good, Opie. I was good. For the first time, I was good. Hey, isn't you just doing this, breaking the middle? But doing this and breaking, <laughs> goddammit. Is it really? Technically. <laughs> Station discuss any other? Eh? Well, no, no, no. Station on your personality. <laughs> You're free game. Uh, Joe, what's going on? <laughs> hey, Joe. Hey, I read a rumor that they're going to hold back syndication in now 17 years. <laughs> I, I read it on the New York Radio message board. Or are we going to devour that now? Uh, well. We had syndication right in our arms, and it was ripped away by an armed guy in a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it, Earl? <laughs> All right. Hey, don't forget Paisano's lunch specials. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I, I'm Joe sure, Soprano. I, I'm sure Joey appreciates it. <laughs> yes. All right, man. Mom, boy, Steve. Bye. Bye. Let's go to John. Real I fast. love the pasta. Hey, John, what's up? <laughs> hey, how you doing, guys? Uh, pretty yeah. well. Okay. That's good. Uh, you guys got to stop making fun of your boss because you're going to get kicked off for that now. <laughs> oh. I don't think he listens. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Uh, <laughs> Welcome back, Connor. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? Why? What happened? All right, John. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm a sub. <laughs> we, we don't know what he's saying. Uh, I don't know. Frank, what's up? What's up, guys? How are you? Anthony, you got to stop. Why? We love you. You get me through the afternoons. You know, I was walking around with my transistor radio in my head around the office because I didn't want to miss a second of this. It was so funny. But when you start doing, you know, the Danny Yuma shoe show in the morning, they're going to fire your ass, man. <laughs> You're gone. Uh, and what? it's going to be the Rick and Opie show. We're, no, no, no <laughs> that, that won't happen. And one goes, the other goes. I swear to God. That, that if you is, take a chance, we'll get another freak. That's the truth. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Just trying to do good radio here. Uh, let's go to uh, Don on line 10. Don. Uh, yeah, how you doing, boys? <laughs> I just want you boys to know that uh, it's it okay off. for you to... Knock it off! <laughs> I don't know who that guy was trying to uh, imitate. <laughs> James, what's up? You guys... All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And them Duke boys was in a heap load of trouble. <laughs> We're going to put your ass in a general lead and send you over a cliff. Uh, Doug, what's up? Hey, what's going on? I'm just seeing what you guys did. I came out of the store, I heard the radio, and I heard him talk about love. What are you guys up to now? Uh, we ran out of delay. <laughs> oh Let's just God. put it that way. They turn the key when uh, they run out of delay, and, and then they put music on, and it happened once again today. <laughs> Jesus, you, the only way I can compare you to, like, you're the two kids in the back of the classroom that just make fun of everyone. It's the only way I can compare you. I just wish we knew when to stop. <laughs> <laughs> we're like the crack man. We're trying to stop, but <laughs> I have to slow down. But we're always jonesing. <laughs> you can't get off the crack pipe. And we're, we're trying to cut back. We're trying to stop, but, man, it's right in front of us. I don't like your say now, pay later policy. <laughs> <laughs> the first step is admitting it. All right, Doug, thank you. All right, no problem. Have a good day. All right, let's go to Steve real fast. Steve, what's up? Yeah, Anthony, you better start booking some more Band-Aids. You might need it. <laughs> you get a best with... You get it best when you go over the line. Yeah. Uh, well, you only make money. Not to, yeah, to, well, for some reason that doesn't matter. Hey, Opie, <laughs> yeah. you better take up an instrument. <laughs> take care. All right, man. Uh, oh, well, I guess that bit's uh, done. Um, Steve, what's going on? Steve? Yo. How are you? I just called before because uh, I wanted to make sure you weren't playing uh, some more archive stuff and you were still there and your, your asses weren't out on the street. No, we're. I, I think I think that was okay, right? Oh, 
Listen, I think that stuff is like the funniest stuff there is that you guys do. Ron Ivan. Ivan in the evening program. <laughs> in, in the old days, you used to be able to make fun of everyone, but now that, like, only two, two people own every station in New York, it makes it very tough. Yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. We're Corporate just trying America, to have fun. That's Corporate all. America's taken over, and uh, it's just so PC now. You can't make fun of anybody. Trust me. We would love to make fun of, like, Scott and Todd or something, but there's nothing there. Nothing funny there to there's make fun of. There's nothing there. Rocky Allen, he got fired today. Well, we can make fun of that a little bit. Rocky Allen program. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who are we going to make fun of? There's nothing out there. We own the... This company owns the guys you want to make fun of because they, <laughs> they got the personalities that are, you know... Yeah, see? I always thought it was a good thing. Sort of like cross-promotion in a twisted kind of way, but... Sure. How the hell are you call that cross-promotion? You make it sound like a-holes. I mean, we're going to own MTV soon. I guess we're not going to be able to make fun of MTV soon. Oh, yeah, what are we going to make fun of? The Q of the day. I'm the Q. I mean, there's no one to make fun of on Q104. Two for Tuesday. Uh, two for Tuesday. You guys should rename that song, Ain't Talking About Syndication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a new song. Yeah, we need something that's more appropriate. Highway to hell or something. Poor John, the dumb guy, man. Just see him come in, he was all sweating, and he was, I swear to you, not not kidding, he was waving a white flag. He had a white piece of cloth, and he's like, enough, please. <laughs> he ran out of delay. Get that arm guy from uh, Little Havana to rescue John from the dump room. <laughs> John Gonzalez. John. <laughs> all right, let's go to uh, line seven. Sir? Go. Yeah. Shut up, Obi. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shut up. Uh, uh, Debbie, what's going on? I just wanted to say goodbye to you guys. I heard the FBI was coming in in full assault gear to take you out of the station. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see me and Obi crying because we're being pulled away. <laughs> I'll miss you on my drive home. It just won't be the same anymore. <laughs> Who's going to replace you? If they're going to rip me out of the studio, though, if they're going to rip me out of the studio, I hope they, you know, send, like, a Playboy model instead of that bookie lady <laughs> they sent for Elyon. Will you be in your pajamas? Oh, <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> yeah, my little PJs. My little PJs. <laughs> I got feedy pajamas. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. Thank you, Debbie. Bye. We better take a break, Anthony. All right. Uh, Scott from Weehawken, I hear a very, very annoying laugh in the background. Yeah, that's, uh -oh. that's the Anthony. Anthony, you are so annoying to people on the instant feedback. They can't stand you. Limo guy. Really? All right. Yeah, you have one of those. Uh, you have one of those sitcom laughs. That's good. When you're trying to watch an old episode of Mary Tyler Moore or where Happy Days or something, you and have over to... the regular laugh Is of that... the audience, you hear like this. <laughs> <laughs> See that? That's the all right. You hear the regular laugh, and, and then... then there's like a. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> freeze! Freeze! Oh no, Psycho Mark is taking me away. You're coming with me. Earlier this afternoon, Anthony from the Obi and Anthony show. Taken out of the studio by armed INS agents and sent to Cuba by some southern guy from Washington. <laughs> Please don't own NBC soon because we don't want to lose uh, the, the chance of making fun of Tom Brokaw. I'm coming over here and let you boys shut up. Are you talking about Bill Butel or something? You're dead. Shut up. He's not dead yet. He just looks it. Oh. You idiot. <laughs> We're running out of things to make fun of. Why don't we let you drink in the studio again? Okay, when I cure things, goddammit. <laughs> All right, then, let's take a break, okay? Oh, but if we take home, you might not be there. <laughs> They're waiting outside. Uh, we need our protesters outside the studio every day to make a human chain. Human chain. <laughs> yeah, they'll be asleep, too. <laughs> You whisked away over sleeping bodies outside. <laughs> They'll just slowly step over them. Knowing our listeners. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, terrific. A gigantic boom box is coming down the street. <laughs> Hand me the RPG-7. And Anthony. 1027 WNEW. Hey, Anthony. Yes. Uh, the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. Yes. Maybe we could um, um, send one to our big boss in Washington to smooth things over. Smooth things over a little bit? Let's smooth things over with the big boss man down in Washington. Send him a Vermont Teddy Bear. Why not? 
we would call up a bear counselor, 1-800-829-BEAR, and tell them a little something about uh, the boss mm -hmm. down in Washington, mm -hmm. and they would come up with a bear that would suit him. Right. Uh, real boss bear, mm -hmm. the business bear, or the voodoo boss bear. Oh, I want one of those for myself. <laughs> Please take the pin out of me. Take the pin out of me. 